Point Argulo Lighthouse is a lighthouse on Point Argulo, serving the Santa Barbara Channel, California adjoining Vandenberg Air Force Base near the city of Lompoc, California. The original Point Argulo Lighthouse, built in 1901, had a white square tower attached to a one-story keeper's house. It had a fourth-order Fresnel lens, which was transferred from the Point Wainimi Lighthouse. The tower was replaced in 1934 by a square pyramidal skeletal steel tower, which was in turn replaced by the current post light. History Topic Point Argulo. The area of land now known as Point Argulo was originally known by the Chumashan, Canalino Indian name Nocto, and was part of the territory ruled by Chief Salapuata at the time of the occupation by the Spanish missionaries. The Native Americans were part of the third indigenous people in the area, the Canalino branch of the Chumash people. In Paleo-Indian times, a people of Mongolian heritage first settled along the southern California coast in areas where oak trees were plentiful, from which characteristic they have been named, the Oak Tree Grove people. They vanished some hundreds of years BCE, and after a period without archaeological evidence, a second semi—nomadic group arrived. These «hunting people» gradually merged with a third group, the Chumash people, as they settled here. On August 28, 1769, the Portola expedition camped near Point Argulo, where they found a small Chumash rancheria. This area had many excellent flints, and so they named it Los Pedernales, the Flints. This name continued to be used for the point on Spanish maps until Mexican independence in 1821. The American and non-Spanish European designation was Point Argulo, from the name given by George Vancouver in 1793, in honor of José de Rio Argulo, then Commandant of the Presidio of Monterrey. Topic. Lighthouse In 1901, the Lighthouse Service built the first light station at Point Argulo. Due to erosion, the tower was replaced in 1911 with a standalone tower. Between 1934 and 1938, increased coastal shipping necessitated the service establish a lifeboat station. In 1934, the tower was raised and replaced with a skeleton tower. On July 1, 1939, the lighthouse service was combined with the Coast Guard to augment the service by 8,000 men who took their place in forming a nucleus for our present day light stations and aids to navigation work. During the interim of World War II, the Coast Guard manned Point Argulo Light and Point Argulo Lifeboat Station, as well as a newly established Lauren Station. After 12 years' operation following the war, it was deemed economical to disestablish the lifeboat station, and so in 1958, Point Argulo Lifeboat Station was retired. Point Argulo had, until 1967, an allowance of 12 enlisted personnel and accommodations for eight families. Topic: <laughs> Shipwrecks. The history of Point Argulo has been one of shipwrecks, the area having been termed the graveyard of the Pacific. Probably the most famous tragedy was the wreck of the Yankee Blade on October 1, 1854. When the steamship hit the rocks 200 to 300 yards, 180 to 270 meters offshore, 415 people perished. 
She carried a fortune in gold bullion which has since been recovered. In 1911, the Santa Rosa ran aground at Saddle Rock, just north of the lighthouse, after the third officer mistook railroad construction lights for the lighthouse. In 1923, what has been called the U.S. Navy's greatest peacetime disaster, the Honda Point disaster, occurred off the point when 7-4. Stacker destroyers mistook Point Argulo for Point Conception and sank, with 22 sailors lost. Mariners say that the chief reason that so many boats have struck there is that in bad weather typical of that shoreline, sailing a boat into the channel between San Miguel Island and Points Argulo and Conception is like sailing into the eye of a needle. Rockets history Point Argulo also boasts one of the few space launch facilities in North America, at Vandenberg Air Force Base where many other rocket launch sites have been built since the start of the space age. <laughs> Light operation The Point Argulo Light is a reporting point for the National Weather Service. The weather station disseminates information upon which conditions for the western portion of the Santa Barbara Channel are based. Facilities at the light include a 36-inch revolving beacon of 1,100,000 candle power that can be seen approximately 17 miles 15 nmi, 27 km at sea. The light itself is 124 feet 38 meters above the water. A two-tone diaphone fog signal is placed in operation when visibility is less than 5 miles kilometers. The diaphone when operating is synchronized with a radio beacon every three minutes for distance finding. <laughs> <laughs> Head keepers William A. Beeman, 1900 to 1908. William A. Henderson, 1908 at least 1913. George A. Hussey, at least 1915. Gottfried Theodore Olson, at least 1917 at least 1930. John O. London, at least 1940 1941. Leo Y. Kellogg 1941 at least 1948 Topic See also List of lighthouses in the United States